Management of the University of Ghana has called on the newly appointed Chancellor of the University of Ghana at a residence in Accra. The university management was made up of the Chairman of Council, the Vice-Chancellor, Registrar and the Director of Public Affairs. The visit afforded the university the opportunity to officially congratulate Mrs. Mary Chinre Hersey on her new role and the first female Chancellor of the nation's premier university. On April 24, 2018, Mrs. Mary Chenry Hersey was appointed as Chancellor to succeed His Excellency Mr. Kofi Annan, whose tenure ends in July this year, after 10 years of heading the University of Ghana. Mrs. Mary Chenry Hersey has had a distinguished career in Ghana's civil service and at the United Nations. In the UN and in numerous other organizations, she continues to be an important voice on economic development issues an ardent defender of human rights, particularly women's rights, as well as an active advocate for African imperatives, conflict resolution, and mediation. Her first post at the United Nations was that of residence coordinator of the United Nations Systems and residence representative of the United Nations Development Program 7 in New York, Sierra Leone, Tanzania, the Seychelles, and Uganda. She was the first ever African woman to be appointed to that position. Mrs. Chinri Hesse was then appointed as the first ever woman Deputy Director General of the International Labour Organization after 70 years of the founding of that UN agency, a position with the rank of Under Secretary General of the UN. Again, this gave her the distinction of being the first African woman to attain a position of Under Secretary General in the history of the United Nations. Madame Mary Chenry Hersey, on retirement from the United Nations, was appointed to the office of the Chief Advisor to the President of the Republic of Ghana in the cabinet of former President John Ajakum Kufour. She was also a member of Council of the University of Ghana from the year 2006 to 2009. Addressing the university officials at a residence, Mrs. Chenry Hersey pledged her readiness in helping the university attain its vision of becoming a world-class citadel of excellence. She also indicated that her tenure as chancellor will see massive boosts in girl-child education at the university. Uh, I have an understanding of what Legon has tried to do. And I think uh, it's very good uh, for continuity that uh, I'm coming right back to try to give off my best. Uh, the appointment overwhelms me, I have to be frank, because um, I was present when President uh, Kwame Nkrumah uh, was made Chancellor of the University of Ghana, the first Chancellor. It was such an exciting time for us that uh, the University of Ghana had come into its own and could have its own chancellor. But I'm overwhelmed because I'm going to sit on that chair. A little scared. And I, I just have to ask for the prayers of uh, everybody that as a product of the university, I, I should really bring a lot of additionality. President Nkrumah decided that we be, should be used to encourage women to send their children to school. Because whilst the fathers will be saying no, 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 especially focusing on the women all over Ghana to push their men to say that if these twins have done it, there's no reason why your daughters cannot do it. And it worked. Uh, there must be a strong message there. Uh, certainly, um, we will focus on uh, the girl-women component. Uh, make sure that uh, the women are doing well, they should do even better. And uh, stand uh, same with the men to make sure that our society uh, is improved. Also, the Vice-Chancellor of the University of Ghana, Professor Ebenezer Odro, was to promise to assist and support the incoming Chancellor of the University of Ghana in a new role all in a bid in making Legon a model not only in the sub-region but Africa. Having you as our incoming Chancellor, 
um, from the point of view of management, we pledge that we will truly and fully support you. So we move the agenda of the university forward. I know um, there's a lot that you'll be told later in terms of the strategic direction of the university and how we want the university to, to run ultimately. You know, the chancellor is the overall boss. So even during congregation, whoever confers degrees, confers the degrees on behalf of the chancellor. Yes. So with that in mind, we would welcome you with a broad smile. The chairman of council of the University of Ghana, Professor Yao Chumesi, also added his voice to the congratulations. He also asked Mrs. Chenri Hesse to use her rich international experience and exposure in helping rejuvenate academic life and securing lands of the university for future generations. Well, we all other challenges. What's the most important is where we work and do our business. That is the land of Legon. As you very well know, you and Maud know, very young white people who had just come from the war negotiated with extremely generous guard chiefs and they gave us a lot of land inside the Oliver place. Now I'm, taking, I'm telling you the land is being choked by a whole range of things, encroachment, quickly built uh, kiosks, a whole range of other things. That's another challenge. The vision is also to see and ensure that the land doesn't shrink, but we preserve it for succeeding generations of faculty and staff and for the country. And finally, we have to revitalize. You, you, you still have respect for Lincoln, but we have to revitalize academic life. And there's a lot we can do there. So on these three counts, we are delighted to welcome you. And we know that you have an extremely accomplished background help us achieve this. On behalf of the University of Ghana, the Registrar, Mrs. Mezi Hazelishia, presented some paraphernalia and memorabilia of Legon to Mrs. Mary Chenry Hesse, who takes over as Chancellor of the University of Ghana effective August 1, 2018. For Universe News, my name is Emmanuel Chivenu.